So this is my first speed faint, and you might be wondering why am I voiceovering? I mean, voiceovering again. I think that's how you call it. Well, the reason is because I don't want the audience who's watching here to be just very bored because it's just some random person drawing. So I'm just gonna voice over it and talk about my favorite pairings. Oh, speaking of talking, I actually plan to do a Q&A. I don't really know if I should though, but anyways. I'm just gonna answer certain questions that I ask myself, like, when did you like Denor? Um, so, yeah, um, my question for myself is, when did you like Denor? Well, I liked Denor since, um, I think I liked it since February 24. I mean, back then, I think I did ship it, but I think I didn't. I just really didn't understand Den why Denor was shipped, I guess. I mean, I didn't really bother to watch any videos with them. With them so i mean it makes sense i mean i didn't even bother to watch any video from other countries that it was in prussia and hungary yes like i know that's just weird because you should probably be more diverse when it comes to your options in italia no but i mean you i mean what i mean is that you should probably like more characters than this and not be just fixed to just one character but it's okay if you're like only obsessed with america because i completely understand your point of view or you're overly obsessed with doitsu i mean i know why you would be overly obsessed with doitsu but as i was saying then or well, let's like yeah, I think I thought that Denmark and Norway were like too perfect for each other. So like I made a whole I mean, I had an OC, I had like OCs and they were gay for each other. So it's like, yo, like I mostly based it off from the dynamic of Denmark and Norway because I thought that their dynamic would be like the lifeless the lifeless one x the cheerful one because just them standing next to each other it already says what their dynamic is to be honest. I did not know how I guessed the dynamic so much. Oh, and here's a fun fact. When I heard Norway's voice for the first time, I was just shocked. I sincerely thought he was gonna have like those feminine voice in anime, but no, he has a very deep voice, but I still love him because he's my favorite character. Yes, he, um, I, I think I already said this, did I? I mean, but yeah. Anyways, as I was saying, Norway is my favorite Italian character. I think I would say it, I would think somebody would ask me that if I ever had a Q&A, if somebody would even ask me at all. But like, as I was saying, I like Denor a lot, and um, it's a very cute pairing. After watching that episode, I was like, yep, Denor's the best thing in the world, which I still agree because I still really like Denor. But as I was saying, it's a very nice pairing, and... Also, talking about Den Nor, which also corresponds to talking about the Nordics, the Nordics equals to talking about Iceland. Iceland! Yeah, I just like to imagine that Iceland is Denmark and Mamwe's son. And, you know, speaking of Iceland, let's talk about Hong Ice. Yeah, Hong Ice is an interesting pairing for me. I mean, I don't really, un I didn't understand why it was shipped, I still don't now. But I understand a little more because I do kind of ship Hong Eyes. I'm actually very neutral. I mean, like, I neutral ship Hong Eyes, I guess. So, like, they do have interactions. I mean, I do think that it's still cute. So, I mean, it's like, the Hong Eyes is kind of cute. But, like, as I was saying, um, best boy, I mean, best boy Norway, um, Race, I mean, like, was, like, Iceland's little brother, so, like, there's, like, the Anko family, I really like the Anko family, and just, you know, them meeting Hong Kong, and be like, uh, nor, um, Denmark gonna be like, oh, is this Icy's boyfriend? Wow, he's just so hot, and then he brings Hong Kong to a corner, like, all right, if you ever touch our Emil baby, I will literally rip you piece by piece and castrate you with my axe, and then he just returns to being a happy um S scandinavian and then you know i hong kong is like terrified and norway just c gives him the cold shoulder and stares at him like he's about to um kill him which is kind of the case <laughs> so uh yeah i just i just really like that but like also norway is also gonna be pretty overprotective but i don't think that he'll be too overprotective 
I don't know, like, he's my favorite character, and I still don't know what he'll act like in situations like these. I mean, I already got sold on, I mean, I already liked the fact that he would be protective, but then again, there was a headcanon where he isn't really too protective, and he actually wants to let, you know, Iceland, you know, let him be, you know, let him explore the world, but I really don't know what to think about that, but I'm sticking to the, Norway is an overprotective, lovable sociopath. Okay, anyways, I feel like this video has been long enough, so I'm gonna end my voiceover.